Students from 13 countries fill a classroom on Wednesday. They come from places as far apart as Guatemala, Germany, and Mongolia. This is the opening day of a two-day program called Road to Democracy, a retracing of Taiwan's transition to democracy organized by the Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP. As part of the program, participants will visit a number of museums and institutions connected with Taiwan's emergence from its authoritarian past. These include the Memorial Foundation of 228, dedicated to the victims of the bloody 228 incident of 1947. They also include the Jingmei White Terror Memorial Park, site of a prison where political prisoners were held under martial law. At the program's opening ceremony, lawmaker and DPP official Luo Zhizheng told the students about the work of several senior party members to resist authoritarianism and build Taiwan's democracy. Luo also spoke about the periods of imprisonment these party members endured. Luo discussed the new set of challenges Taiwan's young people face today. These include what he called a non-traditional military threat from Beijing. Luo said that the DPP will hold to its democratic values, but that the party will need to find ways of meeting these new challenges. John Van Trieste, RTI News.